If you're looking for the best cat tree ears list you must see, we made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have been dreaming cat tree with sisal covered scratching post. This four level cat tree has tons of options and is bound to appeal to your cat. First, although cats can jump onto the purchase, the levels are staggered a bit, making it easy for both kids and older cats who may have mobility issues to engage with this cat tree. Plus, there are plenty of resting spots, including a soft hammock, a partially enclosed cave, and a padded perch at the tippy top of the structure, along with plenty of places to climb. The Fendria Cat Tree also provides a place to scratch, with several sisal covered posts. The structure is easy to assemble, and although it's tall, doesn't take up too much floor space. It's also quite sturdy, so if your cat is a jumper, it's unlikely to wobble too much. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Trixie Baza Grant Cat Tree with Hammock. Looking for a simple and wallet-friendly option, this Trixie Baza Grant hits the spot. It's got just one level, but both the base and elevated ledge are covered in a soft, super cozy fabric. Plus, it has four sisal-wrapped posts for your cat to claw up. One of the posts also has a toy attached, which your cat will love to bat at. This is the perfect pick if your cat just wants a spot to call their own, but isn't a climber or in need of lots of different hiding places. It's definitely best for a one-cat household and is a good pick for kids or older cats who may not be interested in or capable of lots of climbing and jumping. The number three position is held by Go Pet Club Cat Tree. If you have more than one cat, you'll want to give them options with this cat tree from Go Pet. You can do so along with multiple scratching posts. It also has an almost endless number of spots to perch on. There are baskets, caves, hammocks, ledges, and even a jelly roll tube for cats to occupy. It's covered in a cozy faux fur fabric and has raised edges to the purchase, so cats won't accidentally roll off. It's great for multi-cat households, as long as no one cat is too territorial, since there are plenty of spots on which to lounge. Next at number 4, we have VS Per Cat Furniture V High Base. Here's the unfortunate reality about cat trees. They're not always very elegant or attractive. But this Vesper cat tree is a possible exception. Its three wood levels each are topped with a small memory foam cushion. Not covering the whole unit in plush fabric elevates the appearance, so it looks more like a piece of furniture than an oversized cat toy. And this cat tree doesn't just deliver looks. It's also practical and fun for your cat. Toys on a string dangle from the top level for your cat's playtime. And as well as plenty of scratching areas, there's also an enclosed cave-like area for snoozing. The number 5 position is held by Amazon Basics Had Activity Tree with Scratching Post. If your cat can't get enough of scratching at your furniture, try this tree, which is built to withstand cats with even the most persistent claws. Each column of the tree there are seven is wrapped in jute, so your cat can knead and scratch to their heart's content. This budget-friendly pick has a square base and doesn't have many parts that stick out, so it's great for tucking into the corner of a room or directly next to a couch or window without blocking views. The lounging surfaces are mostly flat, so this pick isn't the best for cats that prefer enclosed sleeping setups, like boxes. The number 6 position is dominated by Trixie Pet Products Badalona Cat Tree. Some 5-star reviewers admit that this cat tree can be a little wobbly, but for just $28, they say that it's well worth the price. I wanted a small and inexpensive scratching post for our bedroom because that is where my cat stays most of the time and has a tendency to scratch our bed. She LOVS the bottom and spends a lot of time in there, one reviewer writes. It works as a scratching post, was inexpensive, and is easy to assemble. They suggest adding some weight to the bottom to help stabilize it. But, if nothing else it does, make a nice shelf to put my glasses and phone on. Another reviewer says that the platforms are big enough for my mid-sized adult cats to be comfortable. Making this a nice option if you have a small space, are on a budget, and want something tall for your cat. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Catry Wooden Catry Condo. At just 30 inches tall, this wooden cat tree is the shortest on this list, but it isn't ugly like many cat trees are. As one reviewer writes, it's also plenty functional. Another reviewer was looking for a cat tree that was sleek and modern for their two large cats. And though this one looked nice, they were unsure that it would fit them both. 
Much to my surprise, both of my kitties are all over this tree. They write, I've only had it assembled for 24 hours and have already captured so many cute photos of both of them using it. Another reviewer says that it's easy to clean because unlike carpeted cat houses, this one is a wood-like material that I think looks more like a piece of furniture. Perhaps most importantly though, cats love it. As one reviewer writes, my cat loves sitting on the perch and looking out the window. She even uses the scratching post. I've never had a cat actually use a post at Elabot, so it's very nice. The number 8 position is held by GoPet Club 72 Cat Tree. One reviewer's cat was so excited about this extra tall cat tree the reviewer couldn't even wait for it to be assembled. My cats took to it immediately. They continued climbing to the top as I got further into assembling each story, the reviewer writes. And though this 72-inch multi-level cat tree is objectively tall, it's described by hundreds of reviewers as easy to assemble. One shares, what surprised me, positively is the way the material feels. If my wife wouldn't leave me free and my cat wouldn't claw at anything dangling, I'd be climbing all over this thing, butt naked, myself. It's so unbelievably soft and like I said, it feels like a faux fur coat, like mink or something. However, the reviewer reasonably adds, that being said, Kaneru, the cat has no problem climbing all over it. He's like Spider-Man on there. Next at number 9, we have Go Pet Club Cat Tree Condo House Furniture. Even 5-star reviewers note that this cat tree can, at times, be a little unsteady and wobbly. Like one who writes, definitely not cheap and flimsy, but it has a slight wobble when they're really playing hardcore on it. However, the small footprint is also why this cat tree is a hit among reviewers with kids and small cats. To be clear, my cat is small and so is this cat tree. She weighs 6 pounds. One cat owner writes, the top perch comes not quite to my shoulder. It is absolutely perfect for our needs, but would likely not suit a large cat or someone wanting to provide access to the ceiling. Another attest, my kid loves this tree as we got it for her crazy hyperness. We do have a 9-pound cat that will use it as well, but she tends to stay off the top tier. It does shake a little under her weight, but we anchored it for extra sturdiness and it is fine now. And that reviewer continues, my kid has gone to town running, jumping, clawing and tackling the tree and it is standing up well to her. I definitely recommend this if you are on a budget. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Farhaven Pet Cat Tree. It should be called Cat Heaven, proclaims one reviewer about this split-level kitty condo, and dozens of reviewers with especially active cats appreciate the built-in toys and ramps. I chose this tree for the toys it furnishes. Sissel Post, ramp for angled scratching, hideout boxes with multiple entries, and the overall height, one reviewer writes, My kitten Colette was immediately obsessed with the Danley Mouse in the large hideout. Another reviewer says there are plenty of ways for them to climb up and not get bored with. It feels really sturdy too. One owner writes that her extremely active one-year-old cat does climb it at least once a day to play with each of its interactive parts, especially the Boing Boing Puff Ball up top and the Busy Box. In fact, he knocks the balls out of the Busy Box so quickly that I wish it came with more than two of them to challenge him more, and to give me a break from retrieving them. That's all for today. We upload pet product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.